Places usually adapt their architectural styles from the people that initially colonized the area, but it seems that India has formed their complete own different way of architecture along with incorporating the old styles of the European way that they formed their buildings. See, India decided to do different kinds of roofing styles along with different kinds of internal architecture, which I find fascinating. India has seemed to take in a form of its own when it's come to its food. Obviously it's nothing like any other nation has, and that's because it uses a more variety of spices in its cuisine. And those spices add up to a different culinary experience that you would never find anywhere else in the entire world. One of India's most common art forms is weaving, and typically they weave duris, which are cloth work coverings found around most Indian homes. They can be made out of cotton, wool, or silk, and are usually dyed into a various amount of colors that can be rather unique or eccentric if you want it to be. And how it happens is after they dye the material, then they start weaving it into a variety of different shapes and sizes and patterns that anybody might want. Obviously, it's a very unique kind of art that you don't see very often. And honestly, I think it's one of the prettiest kinds of art there is in India. Now we're going to start showing you a video of some of the weaving process. Men and women in India are draped and wrapped according to tradition, history, and location. A dhati or a lungai, which is a loose skirt or short type wrap for men, is common in rural areas and in high heat, and most often is worn alone without a shirt. Women also wore these garments and went topless until Muslim conquerors overtook large parts of India in the 12th century and ordered women to cover their bodies and heads. And in urban areas, men often wear long button shirts and loose pants called swaris or kurt pajamas. The Hindi word mahindi is used to describe the henna plant, the act of henna painting, and the designs used in those paintings. Used for centuries for beautification and conditioning, 
Henna is used as in celebratory rituals from North Africa, the Middle East, as well as in India. Hindus as well as Muslims have used henna as a cosmological cosmetic. Primarily used for festivals and celebrations, it is also a way of making the sacred visible and communicating with a higher power.